All right, here's how to use Stage Timer with vMix. So I have my Stage Timer room here. I'm going to choose Share, and I'm going to copy the viewer link, which I could do here. Copy, move that out of the way. And then in vMix, I will add a new input. And what I want to do is choose the browser input. You'll see here Web Browser. And I will paste the URL into the URL section, paste. And I want to make sure it's 1920 by 1080. That is the project resolution. So it will show up full screen like that. For browser version, I can just stick with the latest just fine. And whenever I click OK, it will load the browser into vMix. I can click on the source here and I can see that vMix browser works just fine. Now, if I want to interact with this browser, I can right click on it in vMix in the source here and I can choose mouse enabled and keyboard enabled. And I can also do things like go back or forward, reload the page and then choose some properties of that page. If I want to change the URL, for example, I can do that here. But I will just make sure that the keyboard and mouse are not enabled, which works out a little bit nicer so you don't have to mess with the settings. And now I can use this for whatever purpose I want. Pro tip, typically in vMix, what you'll do is use the external outputs to send this to a confidence monitor, maybe somewhere else in a studio space. So in output number two, I can choose the input 13, which corresponds to the input number on the uh, browser source here. And now whenever I open up the output number two on another screen somewhere else or another uh, projector or on an LED wall, whatever, I will see this uh, stage timer display on that. Typically, I don't want it to be part of my production, so I'll often just uh, right click on this to move it out of the way and then I can do my usual production from there on. So that's a quick look at how to use stage timer in vMix. Thanks for watching.